Paul, yes. <laughs> I like this Genesis 6, right. I have a responsibility uh -huh, for my life. <laughs> You know, some people they don't they don't really understand this. Uh -huh. uh, but there were some very bad experiences that took place before the flood. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, um, um, Genesis six verse three, and the Lord said, "My spirit shall not always strive with man, mm -hmm. for that he also is flesh, and his days shall be a hundred and twenty years." Mm -hmm. Now, um, I have approximately 71 more years, Yeah, and uh, we're working on this concept of the enforcement of the laws, yes, but your family said, well, we'll just say that American citizens are crazy, mm -hmm. and we'll get rid of them right now. Well, I did some looking at some of this Matthew Shepard legislation, yeah, seems to be six protected, mm-hmm. Federal activities, yeah, that have recently been amended to some of these hate crimes. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I was curious about those six of them because mm -hmm, I didn't know what they were. <laughs> Maybe you're a sheriff in any county of the United States. Yeah. And you thought, well, I'm going to be in the top secret family. I'm going to come to find out. <laughs> I'm always going to take the money and I'm going to sow into every citizen thinking that I have to know what they're doing. <laughs> it's a Tower of Babel concept right now. Isn't that what it is? Do we need to confuse the language of those that read? Oh. Now, um, I'm going to explain what the law says. Oh. And then you're going to get sued for refusing to enforce the law. Mm -hmm. Now, this uh, legislation that we passed in 2009, yeah, I was kind of reading it, and um, it looks to me that I'm not having enforced my actual federally protected rights. <laughs> Do you know what those rights are? Mm-hmm. See, when you issue protection orders in 2011, yeah, um, and then you say, well, he doesn't have to be a resident. Uh, who uh, enumerated? Oh, the six federally protected uh, activities mm -hmm, are A, enrolling or in or attending any public school or uh, a public college. Yeah. Now, let's say you're enrolled in school in the Quilcene School District. Yes. And your mother enrolled you two years behind where you should be. Yeah. I could say that my sons are the victims of a hate crime. Yeah. Because your family hates me. Mm -hmm. Because I'm going, yes, to spend my life having you eradicated from humanity. Now, I would say that you are hating my sons because of me not wanting to be in your family. <laughs> now, this federally protected activity known as enrolling or attending any public school, yes, I think it's, it's very plausible to prove, right, um, that when you enroll students in the wrong grade and you knowingly allow for that to happen because of the fraudulent issuance of protection orders, yes, and a disillusion of marriage where you say, I have no rights as a father, poop, and I say, well, you put him in the Associated Press, mm -hmm. I think you can get 10 years right now. 10 fucking years. Now, I want you to remove your fraud today, yeah. As you can see, the six enumerated federally protected activities. Yes. Um, enrolling in or attending any public school. Pope. Now, for every school superintendent and all those principals of each and every school of the United States, I think it's a federally protected activity that you have to be enrolled in the grade that you should be in because of your age yes. and your academic ability. Pope. Poo -poo. two grades behind right now i'm suing you mm -hmm. and i'm suing you for violating the provisions of the matthew shepherd hate crime 
Now today, I want you to remove your fraud. It's not just being able to enroll in a public school. It's enrolling students in the right grade because of their age and their ability to accomplish the work of the individual right now. Then there's B, participating in or enjoying any benefit, service, privilege, program, facility, or activity <clears throat> provided or administrated by any state or subdivision thereof. Yeah. I have not been enjoying the benefits of law enforcement. Pooch. You know, when I inform you of a forgery, yes, misrepresentation. Pooch. I'm telling you, you're going to spend the rest of your fucking life in prison. Do you understand? <laughs>